I have been brewing something up in the kitchen for the past week or so. Now I had some stubs to spend, and I was thinking about who should make an appearance on the team. Flashback Hanley Ramirez. That's who the 97 overall Hanley Ramirez that is. Man, this guy is a beast. And for shortstops, man, I was saying in a previous video that I was looking to get that 99 Troy Tulowitzki. But that is, that might be long out of reach at the moment because, Jesus, that guy is, his rookie card is going for around, what, 400,000 or something at the moment. Hanley was going for around 130. So I figured, why not pick this guy up, see what he's got. And now he's making... Well, this technically isn't the debut because I did play like a three inning game before this one and the dude I was playing left after I hit a home run in the third inning with uh, Beltre I'm pretty sure one nothing guy left in the third inning and Ramirez was went 0 for 1 so he only had one at bat so I guess technically this would be the debut for Ramirez but he did make an appearance in a game before this and again I have Cindergard on the mound. I haven't even been able to pitch with flashback King Felix since he made his debut. Of course, the one guy you get who you want to pitch with every damn game, you can't even get out there on the hill. So, this guy's coming out of the gates, getting two base hits. He's threatening with two guys on, but I'm able to get the K. And I got Carl Crawford leading it off for the team for the first time. And the left-handed hitting Carl Crawford will stand in to start the home half of inning number one. Center fielder, Carl Crawford. High and deep to left center field. Kiermaier looks up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Dude, you come out there doing shit like that. That is how you get Ichiro sat on the bench permanently. First pitch swinging for Crawford. He is going deep. And yes, that was, this is the first time Crawford has been leading it off for the team. So he's making an impact right away. Here is Hanley. Hanley's first at bat. I'm waiting for it up and in because I kind of figured this guy was going to give it to me. And then he does. And I'm backing down right after that. So that was a fail. Miserable fail from me. And then a couple pitches later in a full count, I'm just flying out to, to left right there. So that was kind of a bad at bat, even though I did make him kind of throw a lot of pitches. Hanley is going to be making noise, much noise later in this game. And then Fielder is grounding out to second base. And I'm not even, yeah, like I'm not getting that much going out of the gates other than that home run from Crawford. So Syndergaard usually does good on the hill when he is out there, and he was doing good again. I don't even think I've gone out there with Syndergaard once where he has blown anything. He has just been going out there like the ace of the squad, and he has not given up, you know, uh, innings where the, my opponents are just hit after hit after hit, run after run. He's not given up any of that shit. And I'm working on getting some more pitchers. People, somebody, anybody at all, a lot of people pr preferably, let me know who is a good diamond pitcher because I am looking for some arms in the starting rotation. Jesus, I need some guys, man. I know King Felix, he is the ace. Syndergaard, he's number two. And then I guess, to be honest, Price might be number three. I know I just got that Steven Strasburg too, but I'm thinking about getting rid of him so I can pick up some more guys. Because, I don't know, I did pitch pretty good with him in his debut, but I'm just not, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Even though I did pr pitch pretty good with him, I just wasn't feeling Strasburg in the rotation. So please, somebody, let me know who is a good diamond pitcher, who can throw heat, who can get K's, left, right, and center, who is just a fucking monster. Just anybody let me know, because I'm looking for some guys. Rod Carew is looking for the gap, and finding the gap to lead off this inning. So I'm making some noise right in this third inning. So two batters later, Crawford is up to the plate. After a pass ball, Carew is on third base. And that is a deep fly out to left center right there. So Carew is able to score easily. So now we are taking the two to nothing lead in the bottom of the third. And then Gwynn is just flying out in foul territory right there. Bad swing to end that inning. So yeah, 
I need pitching. I am also looking for a new middle infield. Uh, just a whole, yeah, shortstop and second base. And I guess I should have said, if you didn't see, well, obviously you saw at the beginning of this video, I had Hanley playing left field. Call me a crazy son of a bitch, but I had Hanley playing left field. That was one of his secondary positions. Okay, crew, crew must have the worst fucking durability on planet Earth. That is the second time he has gone down since he's been on the team, and this is probably only his sixth or seventh game that he's played. And it's the same It's the same thing every time. He's just diving for ground balls, and then he's getting fucking stretchered off with some crazy injury. So I'm scared to even dive for any balls coming to Carew, Carew's way. So that's why I'm kind of looking for a second baseman still, because Carew is just going down, hobbling every two seconds, and he hasn't been able to do much for me since he's been on the team anyway. I don't know. He might heat up, but I'm still looking for a new middle infield altogether. And yeah, Hanley was playing left field, so some people might think I'm fucking insane, but I don't know. Barry Larkin is short, and Hanley doesn't have the best arm strength either. But Hanley is up at the dish again, making his second plate appearance, waiting for that shit up and in, kind of sitting on it that time, but I'm just fouling it off, waiting for it again, you bastard. Throw me that fucking ball right there again, you bastard. Do it! And I'm... That is just laser up the gut right there, waiting for that guy. So that was just... I was baiting that guy that was a gift right there guy giving it to me right where i wanted so that's a single up the gut and then hanley showing off the speed able to make it in the second base but yeah like i was saying hanley was playing left larkin was still at short hanley's arm strength is what 60 something i'm talking over fielder doing some more clutch shit look at this look at this damn guy it's almost every video it's not even a surprise anymore i may as well just keep talking over every time fielder's up at the plate because it's not even a surprise when this guy goes deep double deck shot to opposite field but i had barry larkin of course playing short and i put bogarts in to replace crew when he went down and yeah i think the arm strength for hanley is what 60s 70s low 70s high 60s the fielding is only a 71 which, if you ask me, that's kind of a surprise. I would think that it sh should have been better. So that's why I kind of put him in left field. But once I get, because I'm working on getting more outfielders too. So once I get some more guys in the outfield, I'm probably going to put Hanley back at short. And then if I get a new second baseman, I'm going to put, yeah, I'm obviously going to put the new second baseman at second base. Why the fuck wouldn't I? So I'm going to have a new middle infield hopefully soon. But that's why I kind of put Hanley in left field. I mean, I could have put him in at third base to take Beltre out for a little bit because I've played Beltre every single game since he has been on the squad and yeah I was kind of thinking of putting him at first too because Fielder's the same way so Hanley can play what his secondary positions are third first and left field so he can play any of those positions well I just put him in left because I was looking to get Ichiro out of the lineup because I don't know man Ichiro has kind of been pissing me off lately a lot I don't know why he's just been pissing me off a lot so I wanted to get Crawford in at center to lead things off for the team. And like I said in the previous video, if I had to choose between Crawford or Ichiro, I honest to God would probably choose flashback Crawford anyway. So I don't even know what's what's going to happen anymore. But I'm obviously going to have Ichiro back in the lineup at some point. I'm just saying. I wanted to get him out of the lineup for a bit. Nice breath of fresh air with Crawford at the top of the lineup. And like I said... I just like the way Crawford swings the bat. Everything he does is just fucking insane. So here is Hanley again. He's one for two on the game. Of course I'm looking for an up and in. Give it to me again. Belted high and deep into right center. Back goes Betts at the track, the wall. And this one is gone. So listen, if Hanley is out there with the 54 power versus lefties, and he is hitting homers to right center. I don't even want to see what this guy can do against righties. Hanley going deep. Going deep, Hanley is. Now he's two for three on the game. So Hanley was making noise in the first full game. I was able to play with him. But this guy's coming back out looking to respond. Leading this inning off, sending one to the gap. So Syndergaard needs to settle down and settle down is Syndergaard's middle name because I was able to do just that man getting the first K and then second K is coming on the ball in the dirt and then the pitcher's up so this should be easy work and it is another chase he's, he's chasing again in the dirt so I'm able to throw him on a first base so I'm able to strike out the side after the lead off double and then here is Bogarts 
on his first, or no, this is the second at bat since he's been in the game, since crew went down, fucking crew, man, I don't even know what to say anymore, Crawford is coming up to the plate, couple batters later, and just grounding out, good thing that guy got rid of the ball quick, because Crawford probably could have ran that out, so, I'm looking for some more outfield, outfielders, like I said, and it's not necessarily for any position left, center, or right, but I'm just looking for some more guys, and probably once I get some more guys, I'm thinking about maybe moving Gwyn over to left, keeping Crawford, or maybe, I don't know, I don't know, man, it's just all up in the air from here, but mostly what I'm looking for right now is starting pitchers, and yes, I said I said at the beginning of this video, some people need to let me know, let a dude know who is out there wheeling and dealing on the hill, because I am looking for some guys bad, and I need guys bad, so here's Hanley again, man, first pitch, swinging, he's not going up and in, but that is just right down Broadway, pretty much, and now Hanley, what a debut in the full game for Hanley, eesh, Hanley, eesh, what is this, I don't even know what the hell I was doing, man, I was just trying, I was just getting on a roll with Hanley, so I didn't think I could be stopped, I'm getting thrown out, trying to steal second right there with Hanley, trying to go for the second, second stolen base of this game, Fielder is just grinding out to second base to end that in, so now we're going into the ninth, this game is all but in the bag, pretty much. Oh, did I speak too soon, you ask? This guy's leading it off, sending one to left field. But, but, Cindergard, Settle Down is his middle name. I'm able to turn two right there. That is a nice turn from Bogarts right there. God knows. Carew probably would have went down after that slide into second base right there. And then third out. Last out of this game is coming on the fly out to Crawford. So, Hanley! Making noise, even though Cindergard gets player of the game. 18 fucking Ks, man. That's fucking insane. Hanley was also playing insane, too. Look at that. Notables right there. Hanley going 3 for 4 with the home run. Definitely keeping him in the lineup. Not sure if he's going to be in left, though. Probably going to move him back to short. Somebody let me know about pitching.